Hi guys, I'm Rindon with TJ Free. Today I want to show you how to capture video and images with your drone and then bring that into a free software workflow for creating a finished product, whether it's an image or a video that we can then share uh, on social media or we can upload a video to YouTube. So I'm gonna show you this whole process using free software. So it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna break it into a couple different segments. This first video is just gonna be an overview very quickly of the drone. For those of you that aren't familiar, if you're familiar with drones already, feel free to skip this. We're just gonna go over the basics and I'm not really a drone expert either. Um, and then the next video, we're gonna actually fly around. I'll show you kind of my methodology for choosing different shots and what video and pictures we're going to capture. And then we're going to actually bring it into the computer. We'll do a screencast uh, and show how to uh, package that together. I'm gonna do a voiceover recording and kind of do a little tour of the property. So I'll show you how to create a finished uh, video that we can then share, like I said, on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. So it should be a pretty informative video. The drone I'm using is the DJI Mavic Pro. It's a good drone. It costs a couple hundred dollars if you buy it used. I think it's around five or six hundred dollars new just for the drone. And then you have accessories like the battery and you can get cases and different type of charging options. Uh, there's a kit you can purchase, I think for 850 called the Fly More Kit. It comes with a couple batteries and a carrying case and some different things. Um, it can fold up very compact, but this is what it looks like when it's fully out and ready to fly. It has a camera built in. The camera is going to be similar to a GoPro. So it's a very small lens, but it can do, uh, I think this one can do 4K video. Uh, I believe it maxes out at 24 frames per second if you do like a higher resolution video. And maybe you can do 60 FPS if you lower down your video. So kind of similar to the GoPro if you're familiar with that. You kind of sacrifice frames per second if you go higher video resolution and then the lower video resolution um, you can get uh, faster frames per second. But I'm going to shoot today in 1440p and I'm going to shoot with a uh, 24 frame per second frame rate. Uh, we have control over the camera uh, tilt angle is all we have. So we can control whether the camera is looking straight down or looking up or anywhere in between there. And then to change the direction the camera's looking, we can actually just turn the drone like this while we're flying. And that'll change where the camera's looking, of course, because the camera's here in the front. Um, and then we can also fly from left to right, and we can fly forward and back, and we can fly up and down. And I'll show you how that works on the control in a minute. The drone has a battery on the top here, so we can just push the tabs on the side and pull it out. And these are interchangeable, so we can fly. And then if our battery runs out, which we have about 30 minutes of flight time, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how good your battery is. You press the button here and it tells you how full it is. So this one's a little bit more than half full. It has four dots and just pressing it tells you it's you know two and then a partial third dot. Information about the drone can be found in here. We'll just snap this back in. Uh, and then this actually has a micro SD card as well. Oh, that's the other side. You have a micro uh, or XD card. So it's a 32 gig micro XD card. Uh, that everything is stored on, all the videos and pictures will be stored here. You can set up an option to stream it so that the video and pictures are stored on your phone or on your, the device that you're connected to. Uh, this has Wi-Fi and also, uh, what is it, RC, so radio controlled options. Right now I'm using the radio controlled option, which means it's going to talk to the radio, which is this remote control. So the remote has uh, these antenna here that we're going to bring up so we got two different antenna we angle them about like this and then this thing is a added on part that i got you could just fly this using just the screen we'll press this and then press again to turn it on so this screen here tells us information about our drone all kinds of good information like battery life um, and the status of our connection but it doesn't show a picture we can't see what's happening so if we're trying to capture a video like we are now we need to use something else, which is why I have this thing in here. This is a phone or a tablet holder. So I can actually put my phone right in here and then I can see on my phone what's happening with the drone. I can focus by tapping my phone on certain areas. And so that's pretty cool. Or I actually gonna use a larger, this is like a 10 inch tablet. So I'm gonna put this tablet in here and then I can really see what's going on. There we go, I've got the tablet in here now. I'm gonna plug in the cable real quick here. This is just a regular uh, micro USB cable that plugs into the tablet. My tablet's fully charged. This also has a built-in battery, this remote, which is nice. Before I have the drone in the air, I wanna quickly show you about the controls in case you're wondering. This control on the left-hand side will let me go up and down. So if I press up, the drone will fly up. If I press down, it'll fly down. 
Then if I press the left, it'll fly towards the left, and right, it'll fly towards the right. Um, this other one over here, if I do up, it actually makes the drone fly forward. If I push, pull back on it or down, it actually makes the drone fly back. And then right and left will make the drone pan to the right and to the left. I think you can maybe reconfigure those if you don't like those controls too, but I think those are the default controls. And then I can press this record button here to start recording. I can also start recording by tapping the screen. Uh, and then over on the right hand side, I think I have it toggled right now to adjust the ISO value. So how much light and darkness there is, the exposure of my video or images. And then on the right hand side, if I roll this wheel, that's what lets me control the angle of my camera. And all that stuff can be reconfigured however you like. There's lots of different op um, other buttons on here too that you can configure and use for different things. So now I'm going to turn on the tablet here. And I have to have the drone app installed. This is an Android tablet, a Samsung Galaxy. So I have the drone installed, uh, the drone app installed here. We just need to go to enter device. But before we can do that, we have to turn on the drone here. So I'll make sure I have my SD card put back in there. Oh, before I fly, I sometimes forget this. There's a gimbal that holds this. So this little glass, protective glass comes off. A uh, little piece of plastic, actually. And there's a little holder in here to hold the camera from bouncing around while it's uh, traveling. I'm going to put this back on just because it's a little bit cold out and I don't know if there's like other, eh, we probably don't need it today, but you can fly with it or without it. I think it might help with colder temperatures, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we're ready to go. You can see the camera in there uh, on that gimbal is how that looks. And uh, yeah, the drone is off right now. So turn it on again. I press once and I press and hold and it'll turn on. So we see lights on the back. These uh, motors start to engage a little bit. And there's lights on this, uh, and now my remote is going to connect. So it says, okay, we're connecting in. And now what I need to do, let me set this on the ground. Now I need to tell my app to connect to the drone. I get, of course, that's all wirelessly while the drone's flying around. I, I push uh, this go fly uh, button and then it loads in. Lots of different options here that we're not gonna get into, but uh, I can just close out of this here. But everything's on the touch screen here. And now I can see what's happening. I can see it sitting here. Uh, I can hold the drone right now and I can sort of see myself on there. See that? The home point has been updated. So I can look at myself on here. And if I wanted to start recording, maybe I can set this here for a sec. If I want to start recording, I can hit this record button and this is going to start recording. Notice here it says like one foot two. So it says how far away objects are. Um, you have all kinds of really good options. And we can also change by pressing this button, we can change whether we're doing video or, or a picture. So right now this will just be a picture. So I can come down here, so I can see myself and take a little picture real quick. So now I've got a picture that's getting saved to that SD card. We'll go back into video mode. Uh, and now let me just grab the, uh, I'm gonna grab the drone. I'm gonna move the camera out here and we'll take off and start flying around. Okay, so we'll set the drone down right here, and then just using this remote, I can actually tell it to take off, so I just tap a button on here, and I slide, and this should take off. And now it just hovers here. It'll just hover right here in the air until I tell it to do something. So we've got the drone just hovering right there, and what I'm gonna do now is just come inside and let's start to fly this guy around. Okay, we're back inside now, but the drone is up there in the air, and we can see what it's seeing right here. This is a live view of what it's seeing. So I'm gonna hit record right now, just so we're capturing all of this footage. This is being recorded. And then uh, I can press the buttons on the remote here. If I press this one, we'll see it'll actually go up. We'll fly up in elevation above the house, and it's quite responsive. And then if I press uh, to the right here, we can kind of move over to the right, if we do left, we can pan around here. So we can just use these different controls to see different parts of our screen here. And so the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna come over here and see if I can find uh, something cool on the property to take a look at. This is my backyard right here. Let me just fly around. We'll jump over to this full video for the screencast. So I'm gonna stop this camera, but I'm just gonna fly around and grab some footage that we can bring in for editing on our computer.